Hello everyone, just did this whole intro, so I'm gonna do it again because I wasn't recording. It's another week and yet uh, another ad came across. Ooh! Good buddy? This is a stunt channel now, actually. Sorry about that. Um, can't, can't find good help these days. Hello. <laughs> um, as happens every week, we're starting this video because I saw an advertisement and not just any advertisement because my eyes are assaulted by those multiple times daily, uh, but one that made me mad. <laughs> this one in particular was bra related. So I thought, why not take this ad and rage and put it into my little <coughs> content mill and grind it all up and have it churn out some content for you all to watch. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. So the ad in question is this one um, from our favorite cup. I saw a cup bra in person for the first time yesterday, which has got me thinking about this more. And I also recently saw a post someone made where they were like, should I try these bras? And I feel like I've talked to a lot of people about alternatives and I was like, let's just make this a video. If we can just talk about this ad for a moment. We did a hundred fittings with over 25 women to refine and perfect a dynamic sizing system featuring our customer cup slide and set technology that gives you the freedom to move, to play, and to feel confident in you. Yuck. This swimsuit is very cute. Let me get that out of the way. That is not what my issue with this is. Um, my issue is not even with the fact that their bras are always absolutely floating on their models. Um, this has to do with a hundred fittings with over 25 women. It's just a very fun way to say 26. Why have I done several times more fittings than this brand that is making bras and claiming to have reinvented bra sizing, which they haven't done because their sizing works the same way as every other company. But <laughs> it's just, it just like, it really drove me up a wall. I really lost it at over 25 women. I think I sent this to multiple group chats just to be like, over 25 women. So this just sent me down this road of um, reasons that I am mad at Cup. And um, the big ones really come down to, they talk a lot about reinventing the sizing system, but their sizing, again, works exactly the same as every other company. There's nothing different there. The fact that they advertise as only having checked 25 women to de develop their entire sizing model that goes across a bunch of different sizes. Not that many, but several. It's bad. The other thing kind of comes down to quality and this is mostly something that I'm mad about because I think their bras are so cute. So like these bras, God, am I even, I don't even know if I can show these. Do I need to like, <laughs> do I need to censor out the nipples on these bras? If we take a look at, any of these bras. This is a cute bra. I like the shape of it. I like how minimal it is. And so it is particularly frustrating to me that the quality is not good. They're, they're not made coming from experience in how to make a bra last a long time or fit a lot of people. We're gonna go through and I'm gonna tell you <laughs> different bras from brands that I actually like that can replace any of these bras um, and will probably last you longer and fit you better. We have the Balconette. Um, this is a very simply designed bra and I was recently hunting for a bra like this and I ended up not getting it because I saw people talking about how it stretches out fast and if other people are complaining about that, I know I'm gonna complain about it. And it is hard to find, I will say. But for this one, my, my recommendation, Queen of Suburbia. So this is the Morgan bra. They make it in a bunch of different colors and um, they also, make their stuff to order. And their stuff uh, does not stretch out as quickly um, because it is made with the proper amount of like, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on in the band here that you don't see that just isn't in cup bras. Um, but yeah, so Morgan Bra from Queen of Suburbia is my balconette reference or my balconette alternative. 
Then we have the plunge, and you are going to notice a striking resemblance. Wow, this bra is so similar. So the thing I'll say is that this one I'm showing you is for a different kind of cup shape than the cup one is. Uh, the cup one is for kind of someone with like, well, I don't know, it's hard to say because the gore is really small, but it's really shallow. So I'm not 100% sure who it's made for. You know, if Cup ever wants to send me a bra and prove me wrong, uh, if I haven't absolutely obliterated any chance of that happening with this video, um, I'll let you know, but for now, this is where we're at. Um, but as you can see, this one just has a little bit more going on. It has this side of support through the cup. Um, it is actually constructed to fit well. Um, and this is a really, really good bra for people who are full on top. So if you have a really round shape, you have trouble with bras usually cutting in, especially if you've had trouble with that bra cutting in, the cup bra, um, this is gonna be a really good option for you. And this is a great bra and I love it. It comes in lots of cute colors. So that's my recommendation for the plunge. Next, we have the Demi. Oh, let's go Chantel for this one, for the Demi bra. My number one recommendation is going to be this one, the Ensemble Moi Half Cup Bra. Just a second. Sasha's in the hammock. I was gonna ask for help pronouncing this word, but instead you'll just get my shitty French accent. Ensemble? Ensemble? Uh, Ensemble Moi Half Cup Bra. Chantel Thomas, designed by CL. So I've, I don't, I've never owned this bra, but I have tried it on and it fit immaculately. As you can see, it has these like fold over details right here. Um, so one of the things about Cup is they have this really cool minimalist design. Uh, and part of the reason they don't fit is because of that design, because it's really, really hard to make a bra that looks like this. Um, hard and potentially impossible that uh, actually is going to support people that well. So bras like this are gonna have more details like these that are going to provide more structure and more support without feeling heavy. If I were going to buy a bra that looked like this, I would go with this one. Part of the reason this is really satisfying to me is because so many of these brands are like, we're, do we're starting over. Bras, we scrapped it, we threw it in the garbage, and we're building a new world, a new world of bras. And I'm like, your shit looks exactly the same as everyone else's. I can't wait, God, I can't wait to do this kind of, really, it, it does not matter how well these videos do, because I will be doing these for, I'm sure Pepper and Third Love would love to do them for many other. Maybe I'll do one for Victoria's Secret. That would be fun. Here we have the scoop bra. I actually don't, I don't. Is it like a t-shirt bra? So first we have this unlined plunge bra. So this one doesn't look super, super similar to this, obviously, but it does do a very similar thing. So you have this very kind of wide area here. So if you wanted to wear like an open neck top, I think it would work really well for that. Um, and it's just like a smooth t-shirt bra. Okay, yeah, this one um, also doesn't look exactly like it, but I think achieves a really similar thing. Um, you have this really wide kind of cut, the gore doesn't go up too high, um, and you have this kind of seamless look. Oh, yes, 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 okay, okay. Um, so this one I would say is the best for most people. This is the one I would do if I wanted something like this. So this is a wire bra that I am obsessed with that looks like one of those like Calvin Klein sports bras, but just is gonna provide more support. Um, yeah, I think this is, I think this is the one. I think this is the one I would recommend instead of this. So we have, let's see, put it in black so we can get a good comparison. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, pr I think that's a pretty good, pretty good match. So now to the final one. The triangle. What do you look like? Really what this looks like is the scarlet blue bra that I haven't actually tried. Um, but I guess I haven't tried most of these, so. Uh, so this one, the scarlet blue minx, favorite bra of all time. Love it. Oh my God, wait. Uh, but I haven't actually tried any of their other bras is what, what I was gonna say. But this is the one I was thinking of. Very similar cut, 
different material, obviously, but a very similar kind of vibe. This is my this is my submission for this one. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there are any other brands you want me to show you alternatives to. I'm already thinking about doing Third Love and Pepper and maybe Victoria's Secret or something, but if there are particular lines you want or if there are other ads you're constantly getting and you're like, I want this kind of thing, but I wanna be able to trust that it'll work, um, I'm happy to dig around.